What's good YouTube, you already know who it is, it's your boy Class Brewing, brand new video. Now in this video, um, I'm just going to be talking over some gameplay. <clears throat> Sorry for this, is not FIFA gameplay. Um, This video would be a lot better if there was FIFA gameplay. However, you know, the video tomorrow, um, there might be some gameplay uh, showcasing what I'm going to be telling you guys in this video. So as you guys can already tell by the title of this video, it's either going to be um, how to become a pro player, even though I'm not a pro player, um, or basically how to improve like your FIFA game. Because um, basically, like from like fifa um from like fifa 14 uh so i've been playing so i've been playing fifa since fifa 10 right uh on fifa 10 the only thing i really played was pro clubs um i'm a really big fan of pro clubs uh that's basically the only thing that i used to play fifa for up until fifa 17 so fifa 16 fifa 15 fifa 14 like i used to play a maximum of like 40 games on all my team this year, I've played close to a thousand games, um, combining my PS4 record and my Xbox One record. So, you know, I've played a lot, a lot of games on all my team, and um, I'm just here to, you know, give some tips, uh, advice if you guys want to take it. You know, uh, personally, what helped me, and what some people have told me to do to improve my game. Uh, I thought I'd share it with some of some of you guys. So, the first thing I wanted to say is uh, playing on PS4. Um, I, I don't know, playing on PS4, I feel like I was worse. But playing on Xbox, I feel like I'm a better, uh, I'm a lot better. Even though um, most people say that you know the competition's harder on Xbox. Personally, I think it's around the same. Um, obviously, there's a lot more better pros on the Xbox, but on PS4, I still believe there is good competition. But for me, um, on Xbox, the game plays like a lot faster, and on PS4, it's a lot slower. Um, if you guys do have both, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, so I feel like when I when I switched to P uh, Xbox, I already uh, I noticed you know a big change in gameplay and a big change in my gameplay and a big change in my custom tactics and stuff like this. Now this sort of stuff is very important. Um, obviously, custom tactics is not going to win you a game, um, but you know that they are very important. And the first bit of advice I would give to you guys is you know don't copy other people's custom tactics because. You don't have the same play styles play style as me. I don't have the same play style as my friends. So you know, just copying each other's custom tactics is not going to benefit you in any way. Uh, your custom tactics are meant to be like to help you. You know, um, maybe if you have the same play style as someone else, uh, you can copy on them. But you know, don't exactly uh, mimic the whole thing if that makes any sense. So like, don't exactly copy uh, every tactic for tactic. You know, maybe just like use it as an outline or as a guide. You know, to give you. Um, yeah, a bit of an outline, as I said, so, so like, you know what to use. <clears throat> so that's the first thing I would say, is, you know, just don't use other people's custom tactics. I do that on this channel, just to give you guys, like, a rough little guideline, um, you know, because some people find it helpful, others don't. But, you know, it's just all about personal preference, I guess. <clears throat> the second thing is defending. Now, if you can't mean full stop. Um... If you guys watch like pro players or anyone like that, you know they're very, very good at defending. And my my advice to you to get better at defending is just it's hard to like not change player, but all you need to do is basically control your midfielder. If you control your midfielder when your opponent's got the ball and then you know when to change player, it's really hard to explain. But say for example, uh, I just lost the ball with my opponent and I have Kante in midfield. I would change to Kante and I would just run back with Kante and let the AI do the defending for me. This is how most pros defend, um, as I've been told, and as I've watched their gameplay, that is how they defend. But you just have to know, um, like, what's the right time to change player. And if you change too early, it's going to mess you up. If you change too late, it's going to mess you up. So as I said, you know, it's really, really important that you do change it at the right time. Now the third tip I want to give you guys is precision dr precision dribbling. Uh, personally, I don't really do this a lot, but it does really really help in tight situations. Personally, I don't do it because I don't really know how. I know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it in the right situations. If you guys can nail that down, um, then it will really really help you. Um, a lot of pro players do it as well. A lot of other YouTubers do it. Um, so precision dribbling is another really really good important thing um, to add to your gameplay. Um, the next thing I want to want to say is driven shots. Uh, driven shots are really, 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 really important to scoring goals. Uh, there's just certain angles. Uh, I know this like don't make sense, but like you, you know like the angle of when to do a driven shot, uh, and you just know it's gonna go in like every time, no matter what player it is. Most times, or nine times out of ten, it's gonna go in. Um, you just like you just know the angle of of which it's it's gonna go in. If that makes any sort of sense, and uh. So that's basically all I have for you guys on like tips of how I find or how I feel I got better at the game. Personally, um, one of the big things is this year I finally learned how to defend. Like in previous years, I never knew how to defend properly. 
Um, I would like, I, I could score a lot of goals, but I couldn't defend. And this year, it's the other way around. I can defend for like, say, 90 minutes. And then, you know, sometimes I'll just get a little bit of luck that I need in like the 90th minute to help me. Or, you know, I'll just nine times out of ten draw the game. Or maybe uh, win it one nil. Let, like, I'll get one chance earlier on in the game. Personally, I think if I was a lot better at finishing, you know, if you guys have any points on finishing, uh, that is something that I really, really do struggle with. Um, then leave it in the comment section down below. You know, I'm always open to improve my FIFA game. Uh, but, yeah, there's just some tips that, you know, uh, I've seen other people talk about and I wanted to talk about. Um, one more thing is um, RB and A or um, L1 and... Uh, um, X, they really, really do help your gameplay. Um, it's just like a, a driven pass or a driven cross, and it's better than a triple tap. So, if you guys do go on to enjoy the video and do find it helpful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Until next time, guys.